Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new Clash Royale episode, and if you want to take a look at this guys, we are sitting at 767 trophies inside of Arena 2, and of course, we are level 9 inside of the game, so I think it's officially time to say that we are the highest level player in the world right now inside of the Arena 2. So I know loads of you are asking, Tony, why have you dropped over 3,000 trophies? A couple of days ago, we were, of course, inside of the Legendary Arena, but I've decided to come down here into Arena 2 because I think it's time that we started trolling. So we are going to be showcasing some insane troll decks in a few moments' time. Now, just before we do, I wanted to ask you guys a question. So if we go inside of the, uh, the treasure chests... You can see the uh, the giant chest, the magical, and the super magical are a lot cheaper here inside of Arena 2 in comparison to Arena 8, which is the uh, the legendary arena. But of course, they don't have legendary cards inside of them. They have a lot less epics, a lot less rares, and a lot less cards and gold in general. But I was going to say, I think tomorrow, I'm going to open up 14,000 gems worth of chests inside of Arena 2, guys. And if you want to see me do that to see what kind of cards we are going to get inside of the Arena 2, then all you have to do is leave a like down below. If we can get 5 likes on this episode, then I will spend 14,000 gems inside of Arena 2. Now also, just before I forget, we have started a brand new giveaway. So if you want the chance to win 14,000 gems, a mountain of gems, guys... All you have to do is leave a like on this episode right now. Subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways and the winners. And enter the brand new raffle link which I've just started one hour ago. Which is the first link in the description box down below. As ever, every single person has the exact same chance of winning. So if you want to win a mountain of gems, then feel free to enter. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys. So here we go. We're going to start off by using one of the most insane troll decks that you can possibly use inside of the game. Now if you've been a sub to the channel for a while, you will know we have unlocked every single card apart from the Ice Wizard and of course the Lava Hound guys. But we're going to forget about them for now. We're going to use one of the most insane troll decks you can possibly use in the game. We've got the Giant Skeleton, the Normal Giant, the Golem. Arrows, Mirror Card, Royal Giant, the Elixir Collector, and the Pekka. So what we're going to attempt to do inside of this episode, inside of this battle right now, we're going to see if we can drop down the Giant Skeleton, the Giant, the, uh, the Golem, and the Pekka all at the exact same time. And we're going to see what happens to the opponent. So here we go, we are going into a live battle and we are going up against the level 4. This is insane. This is insane. I feel so sorry for you, my friend. I'm so sorry, Demetrius, but you are probably about to get wrecked. So we've already got the uh, the elixir collector down, guys. We can already mirror it and get the second one down. So this is going to be awesome. Let's see what his uh, his musketeer is going to be able to do to our tower. So obviously the musketeer is going to fall so quickly. Four shots from my tower and the musketeer gets taken out. Here comes his witch. Now we're going to uh, build up some elixir. But of course, we're going to drop down the first golem, guys. I want to see if we can get a golem, a pekka, a giant, and even a giant skeleton down on the map at the exact same time. So we're going to drop down the uh, the giant as well. We may lose a tower doing it, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see if he's going to be able to defend us. So we're going to drop down an arrow card just to take out some of those skeletons there doing a bit of damage to my golems. And of course, kill the witch. But here we go. He's about to take out the golem, but we're going to drop down the third elixir collector. Soon to drop down the fourth. So we've got three elixir collectors on the map so far, guys. But the fourth one is about to get dropped down. There we go. Four elixir collectors down, and he still hasn't even killed my giant. It's still there. Just managed to take out the golem and the giant. So our tower on the left-hand side is going to fall very shortly. We're going to build up our elixir now. Drop down the giant right at the back there. Here comes a giant from him. So we got the golem going in. We're going to drop down the, uh, the giant skeleton, the giant, and the pekka. So time to build some elixir. There goes the giant skeleton. We're going to use the giant skeleton to take out his giant just in case. He manages to take down my crown tower. We're also going to drop the P.E.K.K.A. on the left hand side. This is insane. This is hilarious guys. We got the Golem going up to his tower on the right hand side over there. And we're also going to be sending in a giant. So there goes the giant. It's going to be the giant skeleton and the P.E.K.K.A. on one side. The Golem and the normal giant on the right hand side. Let's see if he's going to be able to defend against this insane push. So we're going to go with another elixir collector. Just build them up a little bit more. And we're also... Gonna drop down another one in a few seconds time. There we go, guys. Three elixir collectors down. He's got the P.E.K.K.A. and the giant skeleton coming in on the left-hand side. And also on the right, you can see the giant and the golemites are still alive. 
So it's time to finish this guy off. We're going to go in with a second golem right onto his crown tower. It is game over. It is kaput. There is no way that he can survive. He even gave the world played. Let's be a little bit of a troll here, guys. This is a troll episode at the end of the day. Let's give the, uh, the scary angry face. So don't forget, if you do want to win yourself 14,000 gems, and simply leave a like on this episode. Subscribe to this channel right now to stay up to date with the giveaways and the winners. And of course, enter the free raffle link if you want a chance to win 14,000 gems. So it is time to change up our deck, guys. We're going to try and use a legendary deck. We're going to go for the Sparky. So where's the Sparky? There he is, guys. It's going to be Sparky. It's going to be the Miner. And we may even use the Archer. Sorry, not the Archer Queen. The uh, the Princess. So we're going to drop in the Miner. We're going to drop out the other Giant. We're going to chuck in the Princess as well. Where is she? There she is. There's my Princess. Now we're also going to use a Fireball just so we can cycle through a couple of cards. And we're going to use the Zap Spell just to cycle through cards a lot quicker. So we're going to drop out the Becca. So this is the deck we're using. Legendary cards only. Sparky Miner and the Princess. And of course the Arrows, the Mirror Card, the Fireball, the Elixir Collector and the Zap. So making our way back into the arena too, guys. Are we going to find an opponent? We have reached another level four. Level four against level nine. This is hilarious. Let me know what you think about this, guys. Do you want to see some more troll episodes? If you do, I have commented down below. Hashtag more troll episodes. Leave a like on that comment. If you want to see me do some more of these, guys. So here we go. He's sending in a giant. Let's see what the miner is going to do to the giant. Go on, miner. Take out that giant. Slap him about a bit. We're going to chuck in some arrows as well. Just to take out those minions. The giant's been taken down by that miner pretty quickly, guys. So there he goes. Now, I just accidentally used the... um. What did I use there? I used the arrows by accident. I should have dropped down the second elixir collector. But it doesn't matter. We're basically going to send the princess over there. And we're going to chuck the fireball at his crown tower. Just to wake him up. To make it a little bit harder for myself. So we're also going to zap randomly on his side of the field, guys. But here we go. Now we can start to build some elixir collectors. So we've got two on the map so far. The third one will be going down very shortly as soon as the mirror card is ready. So he's got a giant skeleton coming my way. I forgot that you could get uh, some of these cards at such low levels. Damn, are we about to lose the, uh, the first tower already? He's already got loads of goblins on me. This is looking kind of dodgy, guys. You know what? We're going to need a little bit of backup here. Send in the Sparky. Let's see what Sparky is going to be able to do. Come on, Sparky. So we need to build some more elixir. Where are the elixir collectors at? Hold on, guys. Oh, hold on. He's in trouble. Oh, he's in trouble here. Double Sparky. Double Sparky power. Let's see what we're going to be able to do, guys. Two Sparkies going in on the left-hand side. We're going to drop a Zap spell on his Musketeer and the Giant. Drop the Princess just to take out the Giant and the Musketeer. The two Sparkies are going up to his crown tower already. He's got minions on them, but is it going to get a shot off? Yes, it is. Sparky is wreaking havoc on the left-hand side over there. We're going to drop down a Miner to take out his, uh, his little Musketeer. And hopefully we can also get down that Goblin Hut. So this guy's pushing quite hard to take out my crown tower, guys. But it ain't going to happen just yet. So we're going to chuck down an Elixir Collector. Definitely a very good level 4 player. I must admit, he is very good for a level 4. So we're going to fireball his Musketeer. There you go. There you go. And we've got another fireball. Let's, uh, let's Sparky his Giant. This is going to be awesome. So we're going to drop down the Princess as well. Take out those minions. This didn't go as well as I thought it would, guys. This guy is definitely... One to, uh, one to remember. Definitely shout out to whatever his name is. Obviously, I can't pronounce it, but he's done a great job so far. So we're going to chuck down some arrows, chuck down the zap spell, see if we can cycle through a few more of these elixir collectors. There we go. We've got another one down on the map there. So we have two elixir collectors down. There is only 22 seconds left, and it's going to go into overtime. So we can finally start to build some elixir. Three down on the map so far, guys. And Sparky. Oh, no. Is Sparky going to take out his tower? There's only 10 seconds left. That was so close. We almost took down his tower. I didn't want it to happen. So we're going to drop down a Sparky. And hopefully we can start to really cycle through these cards. Now, guys, going to zap spell the minions. Going to fireball the musketeer. Going to arrow his towers. And it looks like we can build some more elixir collectors. So there goes the fourth one. We are now ready to go for number five, guys. But we're not going to do that. It's going to be triple Sparky. Can we get three Sparkies down at the exact same time? Take out... No! The giant skeleton's going to kill my Sparky. So we're going to be able to drop down two Sparkies at the same time, guys. There we go. Two Sparkies. It looked like it was glitching a little bit there, but double Sparky down. I'm going to fireball the minions. Can we reach his crown tower in time? This is going to be awesome. Going to zap spell. Going to arrow. Let's see if we've got this on lockdown, guys. It is the triple Sparky coming in right now. There it is, triple Sparkies. And it is game over. 
So there wasn't a single thing that he could do there to defend against those Sparkies. And there we go, I must admit, trolling inside of the Arena 2 is definitely quite fun, guys. But we've made our way into Arena 3. And we have also just unlocked our very first crown chest down here in the lower league. So we got some gold, we got some gems, we got some skeletons, we got a barbarian art, a fireball, some more barbarians. And that is the only amount of cards we get inside of the crown chest. So as I said guys, if you want to see me spend 14,000 gems, a mountain of gems, inside of the arena 2, we will drop down a couple of trophies to go back inside of the arena 2 to see which kind of cards we can unlock. We are going to end the episode here. It's been a very short and very sweet one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more trolling in these lower level arenas. Let me know what other decks you would love to see, guys. If you could see any one deck troll down here, what would it be? Let me know down below in that comment section. I will see you shortly in a few hours time for another one. Hope you're having a great day, guys. Love you all. Peace out.